Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, on the farm in June, we're thinking servers are a little more stable at this point. But unfortunately, I've got a couple things. Uh, pigs have run out of food. Surprise, surprise. So I'm going to be doing that this morning. But then calendar-wise, I've kind of missed the spring planting time. So, um, and there are problems with grapes and olives. So I think they're removing them from the servers right now because you can't like get rid of the vines like once you put them out there. Um, they're like impossible to then have things not glitch. So they put out some instructions on how to do that where you basically have to plant meadow grass over everything and then plow it under. And then in theory that resets things. So I was more interested in planting something like soybeans maybe this year. Um, and obviously I miss that. I'm not really looking at doing wheat, barley, or canola. Um, although we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll do wheat again up here. But um, in any event, I'm waiting to do something. And right now I'm going to go ahead and get the pigs some food. So hop in the truck. I think I'm still connected here. Yep. Right. So we need to get the crampy and then go buy some pig food. And we should be all set then. So, um, let me get that connected. Everything's working, thank goodness. I had a problem as well. I don't recall if I included that in the video or not about um, the GPS having problems and thinking we couldn't function, but it turned out basically somehow the keybinds got a deleted, but then if you recreated them, because I asked what the general setup was, and people said, well, if you delete this, I think, input bindings.xml, basically when the game starts, it, it recreates it, so that that's the easiest thing to do. So I went ahead and did that, and then things still wouldn't function, and then I realized uh, through trying to do the plowing on field, 19, which had come up for auction, that a couple of the keys were reversed. So I was able to take care of that, and then that create solved that problem for me. So, aside from taking care of the pigs on my farm, I've got a situation as well where field 30 is up for auction, which is down in the bottom corner. So I'll show you that before... I finish up here this morning because I'll be doing that, but again, not really anything to see. I'm plowing a field down there, and it's you know not my field, so won't include that and lengthen the video. I'm just trying to keep up with what's going on here. So yeah, the one saving grace, I guess, with FS22 is animals don't die right now if they're not fed. Otherwise, I probably would have come back to zero pigs, which would have been very disappointing. And frustrating, frankly, because obviously no fault of our own that Giants and Nitrato had server issues and stability to being able to do anything. So yeah, I just need to buy bags of feed. So I'm... I don't remember if I had trouble 
grabbing any. I know I did, I think, like 16,000 liters. So I think I had like 27 altogether. So let me go buy pig food. All right, so we can buy eight at a time. So I'm gonna buy, 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 and buy. All right. So 32,000 liters of pig food. That'll be good. I think that will fill them up. It may actually leave a little bit extra. I hope not, because I don't, although I'm not necessarily needing this, um, this trailer for things. So just have to individually empty these bags into the truck as I go along. So obviously hitting the key 32 times to get the little pig face bag into my truck. So there you saw 39.99, maybe briefly. I, I hit the key pretty fast, but now it's at 5,000. So it's kind of, you know, a little quirk once in a while where it seems to be off a liter. No idea what the rhyme or reason is for how it's selecting which bags it's pulling. Obviously, like the third group back, it went three bags in. Now it went three bags in again on that one. So the good news is I may just have that one row that I can't get to all the way at the front. But I may not need to move much to get most of them so that I can get, I guess, 24,000 without moving the truck, which would be excellent. So... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, um, you know, I, I'm a little concerned that the long downtime, um, I've just not seen a, even a lot of discussion with the other FMs, so I'm somewhat concerned that people may have just moved on to other things in the interim, and the question is, are they going to come back, or are they simply going to be like, you know... I've decided I'm not going to keep going, and then we're just going to have a mass exodus of FMs off the server. And then, you know, there's the challenge of if and when we get replacements. You know, does this just become a solitary server? And it's, you know, on the one hand, it's not as if I've been working with folks. The timing just seems to have not worked out. I, it's very rare. Right, it's not letting me grab any more, so let me kind of back up here and then pull forward closer to the bags. You know, it's not as if I've been working heavily with them, um, but it's still kind of the concept of an active server is a lot more fun than an inactive server. And at this point, we've got a good amount of FS22 servers, and so the question is then going to be for folks, you know, why ours versus others? Um, you know, we can do some advertising and so forth on the Discord channel, so I may certainly do that. But, um,. That has been on my mind the last few days, for sure, because I kind of let people know, I think a day or two ago, like, hey, everyone, the server synced. Um, you know, I got it up to February, and we still had a few more issues where they're like, you know, it's not 100% fixed. I stayed off because of that. I'm sure others stayed off similarly because of that. Um, but right now, I just don't know when folks are going to return. The only one I know is Bryce, who I helped with the soybeans. And he was very appreciative of that. So I think we're okay with him. Um, but Sears, Swede, Fire, um, you know, which I, I think, I think I've, you know, there's, then there's, um, the yellow farm down below. I'm drawing a blank on his name. I think it's another guy from Ireland or England. Uh, Ginger. 
he, um, you know, none of them have said anything, nor have I seen any evidence that they've been active. Doesn't mean they haven't been. Um, just right now, it's been quiet. And, you know, again, in the real world, obviously, um, well, again, if you're watching this later, like, you don't always necessarily know when these are up, but, you know, it's kind of spring everywhere in the world where most of us are at. So we're coming out of winter where, you know, we've had, uh, for the most part, you know, all of Misty Hills that I've shared here on the channel has been since we've kind of been approaching or in winter time. So it's been a lot more, hey, I got to be indoors because there's nothing else to do type of situation. And now we're in a position where people can get out and about, and whether that means they're doing more just personally or their job has suddenly gotten more active. You know, I know we've got one FM who went out and got his CDL. So, um, obviously, I'm assuming he got his CDL because his intention was to then start driving trucks. And if he's driving trucks and he's over the road and he's not home and for days or weeks on end. Again, they're in Europe, so I don't quite know if they work the same way as Americans with trucks. But I assume they have long-haul truckers there just like we do here, because I'm sure goods don't simply just move in-country or, you know, a few hundred kilometers. I'm sure there's long hauls as well. All right. So, oh, that's right. So I got to go by the silo there. So let me back up. Just trying to recall where I even feed them, because other than when we put this thing up in that wonderful mess that was happening, um, there really wasn't a lot that was happening with feeding them, so let me see. It should be in the right place, so I should be good here. There we go. Get them some pig food. And once again, obviously I want all 32,000 liters to go in. And it did. All right, so there you go, so it was perfect. So now it'll take a little bit, probably a couple days, till their health gets back up to 100%. The next thing I'm going to have to seriously start thinking about is what do I do with the slurry. All right. So the good news is it looks like I can sell it at the PV Mart. They'll buy it. It's not incredibly lucrative. It's 31, $31 per thousand liters, so... It's not going to do anything much for me as far as money, but it at least has it gives me an outlet. You know, and, and really the intent should be that I'm um, using it to fertilize, but that of course means I need to get a slurry, uh, slurry spreader, and then I also have to, uh, you know, use it, this, that, and the other thing, because the challenge is going to be, frankly, um, I don't know the 34,000 liters of slurry is going to get me very far on these kind of fields. I think I'd need significant production. I mean, if there's anything I recall from um, using slurry on other folks' farms when I was a contractor, it's that you use a lot of it, and I think, like, most of the slurry tankers, that's just like, or the slurry spreaders, that's like literally one load. So it's not as if um, I've got this gold mine to work my field. So that's where I'm hesitating to spend, you know, what likely will be very close, if not over a hundred thousand, to get a slurry spreader to then find out I can't do uh, anything. 
Yeah, there's this weird quirk when you put the vehicles in reverse that they first go forward. Um, I don't know if it's the multiplayer server only. I just don't recall running into it on the when I do single player, like on my survival series. Um, but then again, I'm not doing a lot of reversing there. I, I'm able to kind of get into every location as I need to and drive forward. So I just may not have tried it enough in the other places. All right. So the work we need to do for today is done. Um, certainly have honey, so that's going to happen at some point. It's just not going to be right now. Um, and that's where we're at, and it's just a matter of if I suddenly decide, you know, maybe I'll plant weed again or something. Um, but at this point, I'm kind of tempted to start going through crops so that I can get enough stuff to support my pigs, which means I'm not going to be selling a lot either. I'm going to be just storing it up. So, a lot of interesting work coming that way, but um, not a lot of income. So, other than selling off some pigs and, and selling the honey, so it's going to be a little slow from an income standpoint on the farm, but not necessarily from a work standpoint. And maybe what I'll do is I'll keep some... Because the, the, the thing I don't know... I'm sorry for, like, the hesitation and the quietness is, you know, I know I've got grain, protein, you know, root, root crops and so forth. So, again, like, I can do soybeans, I can do wheat, you know, and so maybe I'll plant wheat or barley and then, um, you know, that, that'll that handle the grain and then... You know, at this point, you can see it's like 8,000 liters of grain. So if I keep 100,000 liters, for example, um, that's going to give me a good amount of food. So I might actually be able to to do some stuff. And then, you know, for root crops, obviously I'll just do potatoes. I'm not going to spend money to do sugar beets. But I just need to figure out how much I really need, and then can I sell things off. But just looking at this quickly, it looks like I might be able to go ahead and do that. It just, I, I don't know what base food is when you're supplying it yourself. So we'll see. But anyway, we'll all learn together. Um, obviously those of you that know won't be learning anything, but it's new to me. So that's all I have for now. I'll see you next time.